Hi everyone, this is Austin with Sun Fun Kits. So in today's video, I uh, just want to go over uh, one of the new things we've added on the website, which is basically heating pads for DIY builds. So um, if you already know what you're doing, then you should be fine. But uh, most people will buy like a twin pack and we have this option now for a thermally heated switch. And what that basically does is allows you a way to power um, power your heating pads. And a lot of people are, are probably going to be wondering, well, that's great and all. How exactly do we set this up? So in this video, we're going to give you basically a brief overview of the way we set it up. There's multiple ways that you can use it. But uh, in this video, we're just going to show you what we normally do inside kits. And this is assuming you're going to get power uh, from the battery or the BMS itself. All right, so let's sort of get into it. So first, you'll see how we have uh, this switch. And we're going to show you how we have it sort of wired up. All right, so we'll flip it upside back on, on its back. And let's see if we can get this out of focus. Let's see here. All right. So there, is, there are a couple of... Uh, things you can use the above things to put the wire in and bolt it down we normally don't do that we actually solder it and we'll explain how we sort of solder it okay so you'll want to take like two wires if you're using two pads if you're using one it's just one so you'll notice that two wires from the right and two wires from the from the left our left and right it doesn't really matter as long as they're different from each pad so we have two wires going to one side, and you can solder them anyway, and another two wires going here, okay? And the other thing we have is the, what we did is we bridged the two pins in the middle together with one, and that's sort of our power source. So we get power from there. In our case, normally, this is where the terminals would go. So... Uh, the terminals would basically go in here and that's where you would be getting power, um, you know, from the battery. The, the one on the other side actually has both wires from a heating pad and a negative from, to complete the circuit. So this would normally go to the negative of your BMS or if you have like the SFK 200, this would go to the negative uh, of the heating port, okay? So that's sort of how we wire up the switch. And what that basically does is the ground is where you have two heating pad wires and a black wire. The red wire is in the middle with it bridged. And the other, the last two portion uh, of, the, of the heating pad is here. So let's go ahead and wire it up and show you how we program the switch. So now we've got our battery wired up. So normally this would go to, like I said, this would go to the heating port of your BMS if you have a heating port or the negative of your BMS. So the output, one of the negatives, you'd put this negative wire. The positive normally would go to your, like your battery terminal. So let's see how to program this switch. Now, this is pretty easy to use, and I'm not going to get into detail, but I'm just going to give you the overview on how you have to do to set it. So... Uh, what you can do is you can just click on it and you can set the temperature when it's going to turn on. So we'll just say we'll set it to like five degrees. I think that's like, uh, you know, uh, I think it's like, that's like a 40, 40 degrees or something. We'll just set it to five. Okay, hit enter. All right, so now it's set to five. Now, the other thing you got to do is you got to tell the switch that you wanted it to turn on when it's cold. So to do that, you press and hold the set button for a little bit, and then you can see P0, okay? When you hit P0, you can hit uh, hit set again, and then you can see either C or H. You want to set it to H, heating mode. So that tells the switches if it's too cold, send power to the heating pads. If you set it to uh, uh, cold, it's going to do the exact opposite. It's going to send power to your heating pads when it's too hot. You don't want that. So make sure you set it to H. Okay. And when you do that, you can go back there. So now it's reading about 24.3 degrees, which is about 70 degrees uh, Celsius. So let's uh, simulate a cold situation. So we got some uh, little ice crystals here. And what we're going to do is take its little temperature probe. 
that it has and put it in here. Pause it for a second. All right, so we put it in the temp in the uh, temperature, and we can see the temperature is dropping. And you can see the heating turned on. See how it clicked on? So now what it's doing is it's sending power from the battery to the heating pads, and it's going to start warming them, warming them up. Now, this switch is good for up to two of our pads, whether they be the rectangular style or the in-between cell style. It, we've tested it, it works for both. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep sending heat to them until they warm up. And just understand, combined it can draw up to about 100 watts. So it's gonna heat up your cells pretty quick. Just be aware, this is a 12 volt or up to 14 volt only. So if you have a 24 volt system, you're gonna have to lower it a bit, okay? but. If you do it correctly, if you have a nice properly set up 12 volt system, you basically have a way of running your heating pads and it works fairly well. It's fairly stable. Uh, I'm not gonna say, hey, this is world-class uh, type setup. Um, we work, we have used uh, our uh, 3.5, our version three kits with this custom and it works fairly well for people that have, you know, uh, have an outside build it's it's going to be very easy so by doing this you can have a nice easy setup to do it oh and you can see as it reached like 5.1 degrees celsius it kind of uh, does it i mean if i kind of move it back up to it it's probably going to drop again and it's going to turn on again so you can see it's dropping 3.5 and there you go it turned on okay so yeah so yeah, that's a little bit about how, how this switch works. And um, if this is the way that we wired, again, you know, you don't have to, you can use these ports in, uh, but you'll have to just make sure you you bridge K1 and 12 together. So the two in the middle need to be bridged and then uh, two lines in one and two lines the other along with the main ground for the switch. And doing it that way, you have a nice easy way to set up your heating pads or your uh, DIY, you know, heating build. Okay, well, thank you very much.